ओके एंड कमांड इज इनेबल इनेबल कमांड बिल यूज टू मूव इन प्रिवलेज मोड फ्रॉम यूजर मोड राइट आफ्टर दैट अगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन यूजर मोड फ्रॉम प्रिवलेज मोड कमांड विल बी डिसेबल और कम यू कैन रन एग्जिट कमांड एज वेल राइट एंड कमांड इज कंफिगर टर्मिनल टू गो इन ग्लोबल कंफिगर मोड फ्रॉम प्री ब्लेज मोड एंड हेयर यू कैन सी इफ यू गिव द इनेबल कमांड इन यूजर मोड नोटिस द प्रॉम्प्ट चेंज एंड यू मूव मूव टू द प्री ब्लेज मोड दिस मोड अलाउ टू एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर टू मोडिफाई सम ऑफ द कन्फिग्रेशन ऑन रोटर एंड स्विच दिस मोड इज अलाउ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर टू मोडिफाई समथिंग ऑन रोटर राइट समथिंग इन कन्फिग्रेशन नोट ऑल थिंग ओके एंड इन ग्लोबल कन्फिगर मोड यू कैन सी इफ यू यू विल गिव ग्लोबल कन्फिगर ग्लोबल टर्मिनल कमांड इन प्रिवलेज मोड यू विल मूव इन टू ग्लोबल कन्फिग्रेशन मोड दिस मोड इज यूज यूज कॉमनली फॉर कन्फिग्रेशन मोस्ट ऑफ द कन्फिग्रेशन ऑन राउटर or to go further into other configuration mode like interface interface mode or line bty mode okay and again you will run exit command to move in privilege mode from global configure mode okay so guys this is how you can change host name of your router suppose if you want to change the host name of your device command will be host name after that whatever name you want to set so suppose this is my router and here i want to change the name host name of this router so command will be host name after that name host name of my router suppose host name is cc na okay you can see host name of this device is now cc na okay so this command is used to change host name after that to configure banner on router command is banner motd motd stand for message of the day guys actually banner is used to give basic information of router router to the administrator right whenever you will access the device right router will give one short message about that config about that router actually what oh, i can uh, give message like i am running bgp on this router right i can give information about router like this is my private router please call me on my number if you want to modify configuration right so we can give message to the administrator by configuring banner on router okay so see this is my router right so i am getting access in user mode without getting any message so if i want to configure some message on this router password is i think 123 okay i want to configure one banner so command is banner motd after that delimiting character right any character you can use suppose i am using hatch right enter now i will write my message here so my message is just suppose call me on 8511826348 if you want to access if you want to configure this router okay this is my message now i need to put same character over here right now see what will happen if i will access if someone will access this router see they will get this message right 
whenever someone will access this router they will get this message first call me on my number right if you want to configure this router fine why we are configuring banner on router to give some basic information about the device to the administrator okay clear satyant yes sir khalid is it clear to you dear yes sir yes sir okay great after that saving configuration on the router yesterday we had discussed that uh, our configuration will save in ram right but ram is a volatile memory so if you want to save your configuration in nvram in startup configuration command will be copy running configuration startup configuration or you can simply write uh, run command write w r i t e okay so suppose i want to save my configuration in a startup in nvram so first of all let me show you nvram there is nothing 1 2 3 so startup configuration you can see there is nothing right now i want to save my configuration running configuration so command will be copy running configuration into startup configuration right now let me show you a startup configuration see now there is complete configuration in nvram now if power will goes down my information will not lost right my data will not lost still my configuration will be there okay so this is command after that enable configuration password on router right so you can configure password on router by using this command enable password right but this password will be in plain text right anyone can see this password let me show you if i want to configure privilege password so go to configure terminal mode first of all no enable password 123 mm okay enable password 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now if someone will access my router first of all they will get this message right banner after that they will run enable command to move in privilege mode but they will ask enable password so enable password is 12345678989 now you can see i am getting access if someone don't know th the enable password they will never get access in privilege mode right but you can see so running configuration this password is in plain text right so actually whenever we need to configure enable password i will configure enable secret right now enable secret is 1 2 3 4 5 6 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. The enable password will have to seven, eight. Okay. Now let me show you. So, running configuration. Now you can see enable secret password is encrypt encrypted. Right. So no one will get to know what is my enable password. so never configured plain password in plain text anyone can read this message right so whenever you need to configure password in enable enable password password to move in privilege mode Al you need you will always configure enable secret password okay encrypted password so this is how you can configure password enable password on router okay after that enable secret password so same okay now verification command is so running configuration this command will used to see running configuration right 
in after running this command you will see host name of your router right configuration size is 627 byte right password enable secret right whatever you had configured on router you will get that configuration by running this command you can check your running running configuration by using this command and if you want to check a startup configuration command will be so a startup configuration okay now how to configure passport password on console port right so if if this is my router and i want to configure password on console port so that no one can access this router expect except me right except me no one can no one should access this router right so we need to configure one password on console port so first of all how i will get access by console port so see this is suppose this is my computer and i want to access this router by console cable right in real environment how you will connect how you will access this router by console so you need a console cable right through console cable you will connect your router on console port and uh, here and now you can configure your you can configure your router see okay in real time you will access your router in the same way right by console cable you need to connect console ca one one end of console cable to console port and one end to your laptop in rj45 connector in rj45 port right and uh, the in real time you can access by putty or secure cell right you can use this device so now i want to configure one password on this console port right so command will be so command will be in global configure mode line cons line console zero zero after that password suppose password is one two three four five six right now if this user will access this router by console cable first of all they need to give password right not asking for password okay need to run one, one more command password is 1234567789 no 1234567789 pin 8 okay 8 password is 1234567789 wow great line console zero and login now you can see console password and console password is If this if this user knows the console password then only this user can access this router now right so console password is console password is 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 username and password username is ccna12345 no so i had also forget the pass forgetted password right 
so <laughs> if i don't know console password then i cannot access this router by console through console okay and in the same way you can configure password on line vty as well right so that no one can access your router through telnet or ssh so to configure console password command will be line console zero password is whatever password you want to set right after that login exit okay <coughs> and if you want to encrypt all password on your router right suppose you are running five password on your router you had configured enable password so enable password is in plain for form right in plain format so anyone can read your password so if you want to encrypt all password on your router right you will run this command service password encryption see suppose one router enable configuration terminal enable password is suppose enable password is 1234567889 right line console zero password is 1234567 okay no see so running configuration your password is in plain text right anyone can read this this password right in the same way console password as well here is console so here is you can see console password is 1235456 right i want to encrypt these two password right by a single command then command will be service and if you will put question mark you will get password encryption option right password encryption now you can see the running configuration of this router so run see in enable password is encrypted right console password is encrypted okay so service password encryption command is used to encrypt all password on router fine now how to configure ip address on router so in global configure mode you will run interface fast ethernet 0/0 command right? then you will get access in interface mode after that command will be ip address whatever ip address you want to configure and then subnet mask right and by default port is shut down so you need to write you need to run no shutdown command as well okay this is how you can configure ip address on router so if someone don't know how to configure ip address you need to practice on router in packet tracer or gns3 how to configure ip address how to configure host name how to configure password how to encrypt all password right how to save running configuration in a startup configuration so this type of practical you, you need to configure by yourself okay through this pdf now next thing is telnet how to configure telnet so command is very simple line vty04 password is cisco login exit right so first of all let me do one a small practical on telnet <coughs> gns3 
Here I am going to configure telnet on this order, right? And then I will show you how I will access R2 from R1 through telnet and I will capture the data, right? And then we will see at which layer data will generate what will be the information in telnet request, okay? This is important. So here I am going to configure IP 10.1.1.1 one slash thirty and here I am going to configure ten dot one dot five slash thirty. Guys both IP address belongs to same network or different network. Ten dot one dot one dot one or ten dot one dot one five. Different network. Different network? Yes. So ten dot one dot one dot two. Now yeah. these two IP address belong to same network, right? Yes. Okay. Now let me configure IP first of all. So here in GNS3 you will get access in privilege mode, right? So command will be configure terminal to go in global configure mode. Now I want to configure IP address on interface, so we need to we need to move yeah. on interface mode. So interface fast um. Ethernet zero slash zero. This is interface after that type of your interface after that interface ID right and by default port is down so you need to run no shutdown command right after that IP address 10.1.1.1 subnet mask will be 255.255.255.252 what will be the subnet mask for slash 30 Okay. Now let me configure IP on R2. So command is configure terminal after that interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 no oh. shutdown IP address 10.1.1.2.255.255.255.252. Okay. Now see, command to configure telnet is line VTY04 and what is 04? What, what is 0 and 4? Five number of user can access at a time. How many user can access this device at a time? Right? How many user can take telnet access of this router at a time? Okay, so let me configure. 
let me run this this command first of all line v2y04 after that password login so line vty0 enter means how many device can access this device through telnet only one right line vty04 that means how many device 0 to 4 five device can access through telnet at a time right so what is the maximum number maximum number is 1869 from 1 to 1869 1869 user can access this device at a time through telnet okay so line vty0 let me put 4 that means 5 device can access at a time login local and password is Suppose one, two, three. See, now I am on R one and one to access R two. So command will be telnet. After that, IP address of R two is ten dot one dot one dot two. Enter. Trying. Username. Don't know. By default username is Cisco and password is also Cisco. No. Let me configure username and password on R2. Username is suppose Cisco and username and password is suppose 123. Okay. Telnet username is Cisco. Password is one two three. See, now I am on R two. I can configure anything on R two from R one, right? So I get access in user mode. So command will be enable. So you can see you are not able to move in privilege mode because no password is set so on the device where you had configured telnet on that device you need to configure enable password right so command is enable password to configure enable password suppose enable password is 1234 right now guys i can configure r2 from r1 Password is one two three four. See, so running configuration, right? Now let me check data. Okay. Let me stop the capturing. Okay, telnet uses TCP or UDP at transport layer. TCP right so first message will be sin bit message right actually when I will generate a telnet request at application layer actually whenever you will run command telnet and IP address of this device 10.1.1.2 Telnet request will generate it at application layer, right? Telnet data. Now application layer will hand over this data to transport layer. Right? At transport layer, they will add TCP header. But they will build a logical connection first. So telnet data will goes on hold and they will generate one TCP message right where sin bit will on to build a logical connection right now transport layer will hand over this TCP message to network layer actual telnet data is on hold right after that network layer will add IP header 
right after that network layer will end over to data link layer data link layer will add source mac destination mac right so first message that r1 will send to r2 is tcp message right see this is my first tcp message in this tcp message seen bit will be on source ip is 10.1 destination ip is 10.2 you can see this is no not a traffic of telnet this is tcp header only so in tcp header in flag you will see sin bit is on right sin bit is on that means this is a tcp message used to build connection right after that you will get you can see the second message right who is sending 10.2 to 10.1 sin plus ac message right and after that 10.1 is sending to 10.2 acknowledgement message fine after this logical connection right this is your actual telnet data here is telnet data right let me open the telnet data you can see what information will be there in telnet data <coughs> we need remote control for so you will get this type of information in telnet data okay command will this one okay at transport layer source port is random port number destination port is 23 23 is port number of tell name right ss 22 you right and sequence number is 1 and here you will see sin bit is of right in all act in actual data sin bit will always on right off sin bit will on in tcp message only whenever transport layer will try to build a logical connection after that process will be same at layer 3 at layer 2 right net ip ip protocol will add ip header in ip header there will be information of source destination and in protocol field at ip header again in protocol field value is 6 6 is protocol number of tcp after that see this message who is sending 10.1 to 10.2 again this is a sin message again r1 is trying to build connection so it doesn't matter where this router is uh, located right if you have connectivity you can configure from anywhere okay so telnet is a protocol which is used to take remote access of networking device that is command is very simple line vty 04 password is cisco login exit okay and command to configure ssh is this one right guys working of these two protocol are same right both protocol is used to take remote access of networking device right this is how you can configure ssh but in real time we are using ssh right to take remote access of devices because ssh is secure and telnet is not secure why why telnet is not secure and ssh is secure anyone can explain why telnet is I not think it's yes. store password in plain text no for data transfer in plain text yes telnet request telnet reply will goes or come up in plain text right 
so if someone will capture this link through wireshark in my scenario see i am able to read telnet data this is telnet data you can see here is telnet i am able to see the actual data where is telnet data see this is your actual telnet data so data is in plain text but in ssh in secure shell your data will be encrypted before transmitting on link okay they will generate key and we are using one algorithm that algorithm is rsa to generate key right so that's why you need to run this command crypto key generate rsa and rest command are same ip domain name you need to create one domain name username and password after that line vty password login local log login local right exit and after that you need to run this command crypto key generate rsa and to to access through ssh on your pc you need to run this command then they will ask for password you need to provide password and when you will run enable command they will ask privilege password right enable password then you will get access in privilege mode then you can go in global configure mode you can configure your router okay and we can configure telnet on switch as well this is the command to give ip address on switch right so if you if you want to configure telnet on switch first first of all you need to configure ip address through that ip address user will access so first thing is how you will configure ip on switch by creating vlan i can i can assign ip address on the interface of vlan because we are not able to configure ip address on access port right because all port of switch is layer 2 port right so at layer 2 port two port you can't configure ip address okay so this is how you can configure ip address on switch interface vlan 1 ip address after that whatever ip address you want to configure okay and telnet configuration will be same line vty04 password is cisco login exit right and enable password is 123 okay if i want to access this switch through telnet I want to access this switch through telnet. What we need to do first of all, we need to configure one IP address. So I can't configure IP address on the port of switch. See, interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero IP address. See, IP address is ten dot zero dot zero dot one two four five dot zero dot zero dot zero. Right. So you can't configure IP address on access port but you can configure ip address on the interface of vlan we will discuss what is vlan so interface vlan 10 and ip address is 10.0.0.1245.0.0 and line vty 04 password is 123 login local 
fine now guys let me check this let me configure one ip address 010.0.0.0.5 See tail net and ten dot zero dot zero dot three na. IP address is ten dot one. Tail net ten dot one. Connection is used by remote host. Ping ten dot zero dot zero dot one. So so IP interface break Okay so this interface is down interface VLAN VLAN 10 no shutdown Configure terminal interface fast Ethernet zero slash two interface fast Ethernet zero slash two switch port mode access VLAN Port access VLAN. So interface VLAN so VLAN Oh my god Zero slash configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 slash 4 switch port access vlan 10 able to ping mm -hmm. 
why I am not able to ping. VLAN 10 0 slash 4 is interface. This is 0 slash 4, right? Okay. No switch port access VLAN down. So VLAN. So IP interface. So I have configured IP on VLAN 10, right? Port is up, line protocol is up. Everything is fine. Still, I am not able to form that yet. Okay, leave. So, what are you trying to do? I am trying to ping 10.1 uh, from from this where? PC. This PC too. 10.1. 10.1. 10.1. I had configured 10.1 on the interface of VLAN. On the did, did you configure uh, fast Ethernet 02 in the same VLAN or not? First, it's fast Ethernet 04. 04. Did you add it to, uh, to into the same VLAN? Yes. Okay. Okay, leave I will try on real device then I will tell you tomorrow right it is problem of packet pressure or not I will try it on real device first now next thing is DHCP configuration on router right so we had discussed already we had discussed DHCP configuration on router right so command is this one interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address first of all you need to configure IP after that you need to create one pool right in that pool you need to define network with subnet mask default gateway you can provide DNS server IP address as well okay DHCP server in your LAN network so if you will have server right then you will enable like this you will configure serve uh, DHCP server like this right in the same way you need to create pool over here as well on server you need to provide a starting IP address right submit mask default gateway this information and then DHCP server configuration is done configuration DHCP relay agent right yesterday we had discussed command is IP helper address and address of your DHCP server enable DHCP service static routing ok so these are basic configuration on router how to configure telnet how to configure SSH ok ok guys these are the yes, sir, clear. if someone don't know how to configure IP address you, you can practice on packet tracer to configure IP address again and again right now topic is
yesterday we had discussed these things so no topic is i think routing there is nothing in basic let me remind okay 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 breaking router pass but yes definitely so see now guys let me introduce you to one new mode that is roman mode of router right we had discuss user mode we had discuss privilege mode we had discuss global configured mode right we had discuss interface mode and today we are going to discuss one more mode that is roman mode r o m m o n roman mode guys this mode is used to change the routing behavior uh, booting behavior of router means in this mode you can change configuration register value okay in this mode you can configure you can change configuration register value by default configuration register value is 0x2102 yes how to verify it so show version version see okay so anybody know how to take access in roman mode how i will take access in roman mode of router how i will get in roman mode anybody know power of the router and then keep pressing control b to break the sequence of booting control b control b yes either control b or control c just to break the booting sequence power of power on control b not working control c not working not working dear we need to keep pressing it see first of all there is no password first of all let me configure one more password and let me save that password in a startup configuration first password is 1234 i don't know what is password suppose password is this one now i don't know my password how i will take access first of all i need to access in roman mode so to that let me turn turn off the device and turn on again and while loading you need to press control plus c but it it's not working control plus break no 
normally in the city we also get option at the top of it right click and you get option and so just break copy running configuration to a startup configuration 